today we're here to repair and resurface this pool deck. We got some spalling here though, so we gotta fi fix this spalling. Clean it, so we'll probably just lightly grind it and clean it and get rid of get rid of the mold and mildew and dust and stuff like that. A few little cracks to fix. We've got like a crack right here. Fix that crack. We've got a gouge. And then we're gonna resurface it with our concrete resurfacer. There's another crack there we gotta fix. But this is it. We've got about 700 square feet. I'm gonna make this look like brand new when we're done. So there's a couple ways we prep these pool decks or patios um, so we can keep things moving. But we like to keep things dry so we can coat it the same day. So we've, we're just lightly grinding it. You can see the difference how it cleans the concrete, gets rid of all the mold and mildew. Plus it helps get rid of it. If there's any soft concrete on the surface, it'll get rid of all that. But it keeps the surface dry. So we can we can just do our repairs and then we can just coat it the same day. We don't have to wait 24 hours for the thing to dry out. Now you could pressure wash this too. You know, if you don't have a grinder like that, you could pressure wash it and, and then you just let it dry out for a day or two and then you could do your coating. So uh, there's a couple of different ways you can prep it, but generally we like to grind things, keep it dry. This is our fast setting uh, repair material. We use it for spalling, for cracks, for gouges. It allows us, you know, it'll dry in 20 minutes. We can grind it smooth and then we can paint right over it. So we really like using this stuff. If you're interested in learning how to do any of this on this video, check me out in the Concrete Underground. The link is in the description below. I can teach you how to do all this stuff. But this fast setting stuff is really the stuff to use if you want to keep the project moving. All right, so putting on a deck coating today. This is our resur deck resurfacing. We're uh, using a new product today from Mapai called Deck Coat T. I'll give you a shot of this. So it's an acrylic coating. It's pretty thick. That's that's what it is right there. Mapai Mape Coat Deck T. So it's a high build textured acrylic deck coating so you can use this on pool decks patios walkways pretty much anything that you're not driving on you can use this stuff on so we're putting two coats on here today i'm gonna get ready to go darren's already in there cutting in some edges i'm gonna use i'm gonna use the 18 inch roller he's got one all ready for me to go grab the bucket typically goes on between a hundred and two hundred square feet a gallon depends on how rough or how smooth your deck is Hey guys, so over the years we've done a lot of these pool deck coatings with these types of paints, Conflex, Deck Seal, and now Mape Coat Deck T. Um, we can't get the Conflex anymore, they don't seem to be making that at the moment, but the Deck Seal and this Mape Coat we, we really, really liked. It really covers the concrete really well, you know, it calls for two coats, but it goes on really, really nice. So if you're looking to paint your pool deck, your patio, your walkways, um, like I said, here's another pool deck we're doing. This is the first coat. This stuff works really, really good. This was the deck seal. So sometimes it's just a matter of, you know, who's got it, where it's available, and how fast you can get the stuff. So today we tried using the Mape Coat Deck T. And like I said, it, it went on really, really nice. You can see those yellow spots are the patches that we did that we ground off nice and smooth. We, there was a lot of spalling on this. The guy threw... A bunch of salt on this concrete and it just destroyed the surface right there but we got it all fixed up and now Darren and I are gonna are gonna proceed to put on two coats of this stuff 700 square feet 
The first coat is going to go down, you know, probably around 100 square feet a gallon. And then the second coat, you're going to get 150 to 200 square feet a gallon. So it goes on pretty good on the second coating. You're probably going to be better off using a, a three-quarter inch nap. I'm using a half inch nap today, but the, we've used three quarter on some of the other ones, and I kind of I kind of like the three quarter better after using the half inch nap on this one. I just think it held more. I got a little more coverage out of the three quarter, and it went on a little bit faster. But you can see as I roll that on, you can see how really nice it goes on. This color here is just basically tan. There's probably 15 to 20 different colors in the MAPE coat you can choose from. Um, and, the, and same with the deck seal. That's made from stone edge surfaces. They have a color chart too where you can pick out bunch, a bunch of different colors. You can go over new concrete with this. It doesn't have to be old and worn like this. You could go over you know, brand new concrete that's 30 days old if you wanted to color it. Then be perfectly fine for that too. Or it, like in this case here, this stuff's, I don't know, this stuff's probably 10 to 15 years old. Um, it was, as you saw in the beginning, it was really dirty and moldy and mildewy. Uh, you clean all that stuff off, get it prepped really nice. And then you put this stuff down and it, it's going to last for quite a while. I mean, it is a coating, so it could... There's some chances it could flake and peel in a couple of little spots, but you just you just can coat right back over it with this. There's no, you know, you don't have to grind it all off or nothing like that. You could just touch up an area if an area seems to be wearing or if it did flake off for whatever reason, you just touch it back up. Now the first coat on this one, this was 700 square feet. It took, down, you know, with Darren cutting in the edges and me rolling, it took the two of us about two hours, you know, to go from one end to the other, all the way around this. So it is, it, it's a little bit of work, but it looks really, I mean, we're doing, you can see we're doing the inside of the pool coping too. So, I mean, I kind of had to wait for him a little bit on that thin area because he, <laughs> it was actually more work to cut in the edges than it was just to roll it with the 18. We're, we're going right over those tie downs there for the pool cover too. I mean, you can just go right over them. It's not going to keep them from popping back up and putting the cover on after you're done. That way, it makes everything look the same. And you know, those are kind of those are kind of old looking anyway after a few years. So it just kind of helps make them blend in with everything else. You can see there, Darren's having to go back and forth and back and forth, and I'm just. I got the easy part with the 18, really, just waiting for him to get his part done. We're doing, it's also about, I'd say it's 75 degrees today. It's pretty, right in the sun, it's pretty warm. You know, it's, I wouldn't have wanted to do this if it was any warmer out. Probably want to do it either later, real late in the afternoon as the sun's going down, or earlier in the morning probably would be better. You know, definitely want the, the deck to be dry you don't want to do it when it's damp or has any uh, dew on it from uh, the morning but probably not right in the middle of the afternoon right during the heat of the day isn't probably the best time to to put this stuff on so we're just there's no hurry here it and this stuff dries pretty fast I mean you can go right back over this in about an hour so Really, I mean, by the time we got back to where we started, we could we could go right back over and put the second coat on. We actually took about a, a half hour break and got a drink because we were pretty hot. Um, so by that, by, it was perfectly fine by then to go right back over it with the second coat. You can see how I'm really going over those patched areas really well, filling them in. Um, they were a little bit porous, I guess you could say, but this stuff really filled in any... Uh, any little pores in the concrete and then the second coat really did its magic by filling everything in and blending everything in really really nice you can see it goes on kind of light and it actually dries a little bit darker so the second coat I'm gonna cut the edges and give Darren a break on cutting and then he can he can roll the 18 
The thing about the second coat, though, is it goes on, I don't know, more than twice as easy as the first coat, I think. Just because you've got everything all sealed up and filled in, and then this stuff really just glides right over it for the second coat. The two of us, this took uh, less than an hour to put the second coat on versus the first coat. But if you're going to paint, you know, if you're going to paint your concrete for a deck, a walkway, a patio, anything that you're not going to drive on. I wouldn't drive on this stuff. I mean, it's not really rated for a car tires. You could you could drive a bike over it or something like that. But um, this stuff is really, really good. I'll have a link down in the description where you can get, you know, at least the deck seal and the Mapai Mape Coat Deck T. The I've been trying to get the Conflex for over a year and they're not making it. But you know, Sherwin Williams does make it. If you want to check with them, you could if they you have one in your area. But this, these other things, uh, Mape Coat and the Deck Seal, I'll leave a link for them. You can get them right online. Darren's going to just finish up rolling that on. I'm going to give you a good shot here of what this looks like. Mm -hmm. And that all, you know, it's all going to dry up. And when it does dry up, it's all going to blend in the same color. It's not going to be blotchy at all, but that's basically it right there, guys. That's what it looks like all down. Looks like a brand new deck.